Welcome back to the Wake Up America show. Thank you for your patience today. Joining me now on camera is Kevin Demerit. He is the founder of Lear Capital and our show's sponsor. Kevin, good morning. Thank you for joining us on the program today. Well, good morning, Austin. Nice to be here. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Uh, there have been a lot of fears about a coming conflict with China and with China stocking up on commodities, holding like 80% of copper reserves, massive amounts of soybeans, massive amounts of uh, wheat and other commodities that the rest of the world doesn't have anywhere near as much. Uh, it leads one to question why China is stocking up on gold as well. Any theories, Kevin? Well, I think there's a couple. Number one, I, you know, the Taiwan situation has probably caused a little angst and they're wanting to get rid of the dollar reserves and, and add some gold. Uh, you know, what's happening in Russia with the United States kind of shutting down trade with Russia with oil um, and Russia using uh, commodities like gold uh, to be able to transact with other countries and get around some of the um, restrictions that the United States has placed on. And a big one is, you know, China still holds a lot of U.S. reserves and we have seven and a half percent inflation right now. So what a better way to hedge against inflation than sell off some of those reserves and replace those reserves with gold. And that's what we're really seeing around the country, not only China, around the world, not only China, but other countries have been purchasing a lot of gold for the, in, in the central banks as well. Now, if other countries are purchasing gold, I mean, are they reacting to what China is doing? I mean, this is more recent, right? Because what I've been seeing is that, you know, China had not been purchasing gold for something like, um, you know, three years. And then all of a sudden in, I think, November, October or November, they start these massive gold purchases. Are other central banks around the world reacting to what China is doing? Or I mean, or is everybody seeing some statistic that the rest of us lay people aren't seeing? You know, why are they doing this? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, you know, I have an article here. Uh, as of the beginning of this year, central banks around the world are buying at the fastest rate since 1967. That's according to the World Gold Council. So in the past 55 years, Austin, we have not seen the central banks purchase as much gold as they have right now. Well, the interesting part about that is 1967 was right before the 70s inflation and in 67, the government was pump, pumping up the money supply, adding on debt. <clears throat> and then through the 70s, as most people know, you had massive inflation. So the central banks today are getting prepared for what they believe will be a much more extended period um, than I think most people believe inflation will stick around. Because 7.5% seven, seven inflation is fairly devastating over long periods of time. Even 5 or 4% inflation can really hurt retirees and it would dramatically hurt central banks holding of U.S. dollars. So replacing with gold makes a lot of sense. If you're just tuning into the Wake Up America show, I'm Austin Peterson. I'm speaking to Kevin Demerit. He is the founder of Lear Capital, and we're talking a little bit about China aggressively buying gold with another 30-ton purchase in December. Um, another question that I had for you, Kevin, I'm reading about uh, Alan Greenspan, ex-Fed chair, seeing he's uh, predicting that a U.S. recession is the most likely outcome of what's happening right now. Um, are you seeing these signs as well? Yeah. <clears throat> you know, Jenny Yellen said that uh, it would take a lot of skill and luck uh, not to go into a recession uh, in 2023. And I think you're seeing a lot of the billionaire, hedge fund managers, so on and so forth, say the same thing. We have pumped up the money supply so much to the tune of $23 trillion since 2008. And now they're pulling that money back out of the economy. And when you do that, that liquidity that's being pulled out is going to cause some problems. You're starting to see real estate prices you know, come down. You're starting to see the stock prices come down. Those are the telltale signs usually of a recession around the corner. And I think you'll probably uh, start sniffing around uh, for that kind of activity where you get more and more of a slowdown uh, at the end of January, beginning, middle of February. Kevin, a lot of the listeners to this show are big skeptics of the Federal Reserve. In fact, many of them would like to see an end to the Federal Reserve. Uh, so when you hear these kinds of prognostications from former chairs of the Federal Reserve and from people like Janet Yellen and others, I mean, do we have any reason to believe what they have to say, considering how wrong they've been in calling things in the past. I mean, I, I typically tend to be the type of person who looks at uh, uh, someone like uh, Janet Yellen or or uh, Greenspan and and you know see what they say and then do the opposite. So, if Greenspan says that there's going to be a recession, does that mean maybe it's a good time to get into the stock market? <laughs> yeah, you know, here's the thing. Uh, 
when they're in office, you know, here, here, here we, we heard about inflation, inflation being transitory. Um, and everybody out there who's in the financial market said there's no way it's going to be transitory. It's never been transitory when you start to see inflation go up like that. So when these Federal Reserve chairmen are in office, I think it's very political driven. When they're out of office and you can you know, kind of say what's on your mind and really look at the economy and, and, and give their honest opinions, I think that's much more valid than the people who are actually in office at this particular time, in my, in my personal opinion. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, Kevin, we've got a couple of listener questions this morning. Uh, Matt Unruh sent in a question, a super chat over on YouTube, and asked, could I roll over my IRA into a gold IRA? Great question. The answer is yes. It's a real easy process. Uh, we basically can transfer any portion of an existing IRA or Roth IRA over to um, Equity Trust, who we use as a self-directed IRA custodian. And then you place physical gold or silver into that account, and then you can buy and sell it just like you would a stock. Uh, so it's a very easy process. The paperwork takes about five or 10 minutes and the transfer takes uh, anywhere from three to seven days. Right now is probably a really good time to be doing something like that as well, Matt. If you're gonna make that kind of a decision, make sure that you use our link, learaustin.com, so that we get credit for that. We'd appreciate it, Matt. Um, Andy had a question for you as well, Kevin. He says, how does one gauge the difference in cost of coins versus bullion? The numismatic value seems to be a bit slippery to get a hold of. What are your thoughts? Yeah, the numismatic premium is, is just a market set price. Um, if you look at American Eagles, um, and it sounds like he understands the market here, uh, American, silver American Eagles usually trade at about $2.50 over the spot price. They're trading at uh, 4 or $5 over the spot price today. And a month ago or so, it was you know, 10 to 12, even as high as $15 over the spot price. It's all market driven. It's not that you're paying this premium and not getting it back. You're paying the premium and the dealer will pay you a premium, whatever the premium is in the market uh, when you sell. But those, all of those numismatic premiums are market set most of the time. That's good stuff. Andy Opperman, thanks for sending that text to us this morning at 573-319-1586. Kevin, is there anything else that you think that our listeners should know before we let you go? Now, nah, just, you know, get educated. And, and if you're going to do something in precious metals, I mean, it's a great question about IRAs, but, you know, outside of an IRA, kind of diversifying your portfolio, just get some education. We've got some great materials to try to help people understand, you know, more of the question on the numismatic premiums or premium coins, and then also IRAs and so on and so forth, because inflation is kind of here to stay. And I think the recession's right around the corner. If inflation's here to stay and a recession's around the corner, there's no better time to get some more information from Lear Capital about ways to protect your savings and your retirement. Kevin, thank you very much for your time today. We're grateful for you and for your sponsorship of the Wake Up America show. Have a great week. You too, Austin.